Okay, guys, grab your costumes, your kids, your neighbor's kids, maybe a date. Zubu is back in Houston. Our Mel Camp is there checking it all out and ready in costume. I am ready in costume. I am, I am a unigur. Did you know that there are unigurs at the Houston Zoo? Well, now you know. Um, also elephants. Okay, a lot of great things are happening at the zoo for Zubu. We're going to tell you all those details. Plus, what do elephants like to eat for trick or treat? We'll be feeding them their favourite treats. That is coming up on Houston Live. And the Houston Zoo Boo, it is back with some new Halloween fun. Mel Camp is out there checking out all the fun things to do. Hi, Mel. Hey, guys, look at who I found. My new family of elephants. This is so amazing. We are going to be feeding these guys their favorite Halloween treat. No tricks, just treats here on Houston Life. It's coming up. Are we excited, everyone? Yay! Look at the cat. Welcome back to Houston Life. You know, things are getting a little spooky at the Houston Zoo. Of course, we're talking one of our favorite events, Zoo Boo. It is back and it's better than ever. They have some frightening and fun new additions this year. Yeah, and Mel Camp is over at the zoo with all the details. Mel, I didn't catch what you're dressed up as. It's a unicorn, but a zebra <laughs> combination? I think it's yeah. a tiger. It's a, no, it's a tiger. Yeah, oh. so I'm a unigur. A unigur. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's what I am. We'll go with it. Right? Very rare creature that you can only find on certain days, okay, when I'm here at the Houston Zoo. But yeah, so that's what I am. And um, I've joined uh, the, the, the Una, the Una elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and Ian. Well, Hello. I think there is like special as a unicorn these elephants. Oh I yes, definitely, do. definitely. You know, they don't have one horn, but they do have two tusks. And if they put their trumpet up, it's not called a trumpet, is it? It's called a trunk. <laughs> <laughs> but it goes. It does make that noise, though. It does make a trumpet noise. So yes, it is called a trunk, but it does make oh a trumpet. Oh gosh. Okay, so you work every day with these amazing mm -hmm. animals. What do you think is the best thing about elephants? I think the the best thing about elephants is that they are so intelligent, and uh, watching them learn new behaviors and actually getting to train new behaviors. Uh, I've been here for 11 years now, and I've been a part of uh, six elephant births. So seeing six elephants get to grow up and add behavior to that has been really amazing, and really, you know, watching these guys. You know, go from little, you know, little babies, what we call calves, to you know, grown adults, and even one having one a calf of her own. It's been really, really amazing to to oh witness. Oh gosh! And we have Tess is here. Yes, this is Tess. Uh, she is uh, 38 years old. Uh, she became a uh, grandma last year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so amazing. She's been, wait, she became a grandma, but she's got two babies. Yeah, so uh, kind of like that uh, that 90s classic, Father the Bride Part 2. We actually had two born last year. So she her her daughter gave birth, uh, which is not in our picture. Uh, her other daughter is on the other end yeah. of our yard. Uh, but then she also gave birth a couple months later after her daughter gave birth. Oh, my gosh. I love it. You know, we families all come in different <laughs> shapes and sizes for sure. Well, Tess's favorite treat, and because it's... You know, that time of year, and we are here for Zubu. She loves no tricks at all. She just loves her pumpkins. No, she she loves pumpkins, and uh, this is the really only month out of the year that our elephants will get pumpkins. Uh, because it's Zubu, we'll give them pumpkins on the weekends. Yeah. Uh, but Tess is probably the, the biggest lover of pumpkins, and I don't mean that because she is a large elephant. That means she really <laughs> loves pumpkins. Some of our other elephants, you know, they might like to smash it, but they won't eat it, uh, but she'll, she'll eat it, and we're just going to... Going, guys, seriously, yeah. can we? Can, she's been so well behaved. She is. So, test trunk. Are you ready to watch this? Test, test trunk. Trunk. Good girl. Is eating her favorite treat. I'm going to get out of the way. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, that's how we all eat our pumpkins. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What? This is a pumpkin massacre going on here. Tess is getting into her pumpkin. Um, very fitting for Zubu. So Zubu is on now. It has started and coming up, Jackie is going to take us to some of the fun things. I mean, the elephants are included with Zubu. Absolutely. But. Everything at the zoo is included with Zubu. But up next, I'm going to share with you what other things besides the ele elephants people can do. During and, Zubu. and I'm going to give you some fashion tips on what to wear, right? <laughs> you and a girl. All right, does it sound good, everybody? Yeah. Look at this. It's a fun day. Wow.
That was awesome. Yeah, to see. and Mel, oh that gosh. elephant made quick work out of that poor <laughs> sure. in there. Okay, Mel, we'll see you I'm in just not, a bit. I'm not it today. <laughs> Coming up on Houston Life, we're going to learn more about Zubu and the special activities. By the way, for tickets, you can go to HoustonZoo.org or call 713-533-6500. We do have a link also on the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Houston Life. You know, a fun way to get into the Halloween spirit, grab the kids, grab a date, head down to the zoo for the annual Zoo Boo. It's one of our favorite events. I was just going to say that. You took the words right Sorry. out of my mouth. So <laughs> the weather this time of year cannot be any better. Mel Camp is all dressed up. Joining us live once again, Mel, who have you found? Guys, you know the weather's good when you can wear a wig like this and feel fine. So yes, the zoo is amazing, weather is perfect, and this is what Zubu is all about. Take a look at who I've been crashing photos with. Guys, show us what you got. Show us this. Zubu! Boo crew at the Zubu! This is what you want to do, okay? You want to dress up. Guys, thank you so much! <laughs> so cool. And um, Oh my goodness, Jackie, it's just been so much fun. You've been dragging us around yeah. to all of the awesome things here. And it's just a tiny bit of all the excitement that's happening during October for Zubu. Yes, uh, so Zubu is all October long. So every day through October that you come to the zoo, you get to experience Zubu. We're not saving it for the weekends or nights, it's every day. So you can come dressed in costume. Adults, we ask that it be a little family friendly. So, and um, <laughs> we ask no masks, but really we've seen um, zookeepers show up. We have seen little prince and princesses. We've seen have you had rangers. Steve Irwins? I feel like there was a big Steve Maybe? Irwin movement. Maybe. <laughs> People dressing up. <laughs> Maybe we were calling it. me for tips yeah. on the yeah. accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we would love that. We would love that. But there are so many photo ops around just like oh, this. this. The entire cool. zoo is decked out for Halloween. Oh my gosh. It's so amazing. And it's every Friday night, mm -hmm. we're extending the hours so that you can enjoy some of this incredible weather every Friday night you can stay a little longer again everything is included with your admission or your membership that's so cool animals too and you've got some new things that are at Zubu this year if you've been to Zubu before there are some really cool new things mm -hmm. what are those yeah we've added extra photo ops we've also added a pumpkin tunnel near our lion den so if you're here and you're near the lions look up and there are hundreds of pumpkins floating the deca decor this year is just incredible oh my gosh it's going to be so much fun and of course heaps of photo opportunities yeah. we've just seen people families <laughs> oh my gosh can we just take a look at this moment that is so cute yes again we want people to come dressed up this is the place to be for your family photos oh my goodness all right so let's go over the hours getting your tickets how easy is it to get tickets we open every day at 9 a.m and you buy your tickets on houstonzoo.org super oh, easy super super easy you can do zubu all the way through until like october 31st. october 31st zubu goes through halloween how about that oh my gosh and i will say it's been super busy at the zoo today but everybody has had their moments to be able to take photos like this it's really yeah. so awesome everyone's having fun make sure you dress up when you come start planning your zubu costume and i really hope some people will be um unigurus I, I think that's really going to take off <laughs> Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> Derek first. Oh my gosh, Derek and Courtney, what are you guys gonna wear to the to Zubu? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I might need to borrow that wig mill, but for sure mark your calendars. The feeding of the elephants, those pumpkins <laughs> yeah. that happens on the weekend, that seems like a must must see now. It's a photo moment.